Hi everyone, we're going to learn about the trichomonas vaginalis infection and I have a mnemonic for it and I thought I'd share it with you guys and the mnemonic is uh, Tricky Glean Goblin uh, It helps me remember a lot of features of trichomonas infection so let me walk through the whole mnemonic uh, Tricky, as you can guess, stands for trichomonas Green is for the green colored discharge associated with uh, trichomonas vaginalis infections and yeah goblins are green in color so there are a lot of features about this goblin that are gonna help us with the remembering the characteristics of the infection like for example if you think of a goblin it's very unkept and not very tidy you can think of it as dirty and dingy and foul smelling and that's your keyword for trichomonas vaginalis infections have foul smelling discharge uh, you can see that the goblin has very pointed teeth and um, i cannot think if a goblin were to irritate you um that i don't know this is a very crazy but i think that if a goblin has infected your vagina it's obviously gonna cause a lot of itching and uh, burning sensation um goblins are motile because they have legs so whenever you have a trichomonas infection if you prepare a slide you can actually see those trophozoites uh, floating around so that the goblin is a motile have to remember that the trophozoites of trichomonas vaginalis infections are motile um, if you've seen the movie spider-man you remember there's a mask of the goblin and the mask cannot um, function on its own it requires a human like Osborne's to um, infect Spider-Man I guess so uh, any which ways uh, this mask and its dependency on the human reminds you that Chikamonas vaginalis cannot ex um, exist outside humans and that is basically because uh, they don't have cyst forms so there's no cysts so you're only stuck with trophozoites which are sexually transmitted uh, trichomonas vaginalis is also in associated with an increase in pH and um, you treat both the partners for whenever you have a trichomonas infection because it's sexually transmitted so you have probably given it to the other person or the other sexual partner and the treatment for trichomonas vaginalis is metronidazole i'll help you um, i'll tell you how i remember this uh, in a while so yeah let's summary uh, give a summary of everything okay remember the green goblin and the tricky green goblin reminds you of trichomonas the green reminds you of the green color discharge and the very untidy dingy goblin reminds you of the foul smelling discharge the teeth reminds you of the itching and burning and uh, the legs remind you that they are very mortal organisms and the spider-man mask uh, they remind you that they cannot exist outside humans because they cannot form cysts um, extra points include the fact that it is associated with an increase in pH and it is sexually transmitted and you need to treat both the partners with metronidazole. Let's go to Gardenella vaginalis now. The mnemonic for Gardenella vaginalis I got online and it says uh, I have no clue why I smell fish in the vagina garden. So you can think of a guy who's smelling fish in a garden. Now, what all, what are the buzzwords mean? 
um, clue stands for clue cells and if you take the discharge of someone who is infected with cardinella vaginalis you will see the vaginal epithelial cell covered with all of these bacteria so that's a clue cell why i smell fish the fish is for the fishy odor associated um, um, you do a whiff test actually uh, you take a discharge and you add QH to it and this causes aromatization of amines and this liberates a very strong fishy odor and that stands for the fish in the vagina garden the vagina garden obviously stands for vagina garden Alice. Uh, if you think of a garden it's nice and pleasant with flowers and everything around so that helps me remember that there is no itching or burning sensation uh, associated with cardinella vaginalis infections whereas we learned in trichomonas vaginalis infections there is itching and burning the um, I've, um, I think of fishes as most of the fishes have a grey colour don't you think like if you think of a dolphin or a shark or it's just me but I think of fishes as predominantly being grey so the grey reminds me of the grey or the um, the grey discharge associated with Frickmona's vagina this infection and uh, if not grey it's more of off-white and uh, that helps you distinguish between trichomonas and gardenella where we learned in trichomonas that it was a green color and gardenella vaginalis is also associated with an increased ph and this is also um, treated with metronidazole just like the trichomonas infection the um, thing about Gardenella vaginalis is that it can be transmitted through fomites as well. So even if you're sh sharing a towel or a doorknob with someone, you might get infected with trichomonas. It's not necessarily a sexually transmitted disease. And um, yeah, that's all. Also thought of adding the mnemonic for metronidazole um, in this video because we talked about two organisms which are treated with metronidazole and this mnemonic I got online so I'm not going to take care of it but it's get gap on the metro and the G um, stands for Giardia Giardia I pronounced it wrong E stands for Ent Amoeba T stands for our tricky green goblin we just learned. Um, the next G stands for the Cardinella vaginalis infection. Again, we just learned. A stands for all the anaerobes. And let's not forget that Cardinella vaginalis is also um, a mixed infection of gram negative rods and a lot of anaerobes. I forgot to mention that previously and the P stands for H. pylori infections the one that causes stomach ulcers and everything so yeah that's um, about metronidazole and I hope that made sense and that helps you distinguish between cardinal vaginalis and trichomonas vaginalis in the future and uh, yeah I hope you had fun learning with me and that's all.